Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. We're out here today. It's the last day of hunting season. We took the old Ram Pro Master City. <laughs> you guys are probably laughing at that. It's a funny looking vehicle, but it's a great dog hauler. Um, we have we can fit up to like eight crates in there and haul a bunch of dogs in there. So uh, this is Kelly's vehicle. She absolutely loves it. Uh, I don't know if I really like it out here because it doesn't have four-wheel drive, but we've been in drought conditions, so it's pretty dry out here. So hopefully that doesn't affect the hunting too much. But I'm going to shut up now, and then we're going to go look for birds. So hopefully we can get in them and get some shots fired. So let's go. I'd have to look. I probably could have fired. Yeah, you could have smoked a couple. Uh, Sorry, I was asking distracting. <laughs> like, yeah. Come! Delta, come! Oh, my GoPro was on. Griffin, come. It was? Yeah. Oh. I had it on already because you said there were birds over here, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look. Yeah, there's probably about 10 of them. And I didn't fire because I wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't expecting you to bump them. I should have been, I guess. Go around these they're, trees. They're in front of them. Yeah, I know, but we let's get downwind. Let's go around these trees. There's wind. There. Let me check. Barely. Looks like a. Did you see it? Looks like a wildcat or something. Right. Okay. Yeah. It looked like too small to be a bobcat, but. I told you. It was some sort of feline. I saw one. It could have been a lynx. Can you guys tell me I'm not an idiot now? <laughs> It might be more this way. Yeah. Kelly. It might be more this way. On the edge of that no, this way. They landed behind those trees. They didn't go far. I they... thought they were closer to the front part. Well, either way, if we had... I think we'll either hit them or we won't. That's fine. What's that? I'm over here. Okay. I'm gonna go right through this. Right over there. What? Whoop! Clayton, they're up here. I 
I just felt a slight breeze. Standing? Whoop! They're just not smelling them. Okay, Clayton, go with him. She's right there. Yeah, I see her. There goes another. Go up, Clayton. Go oh. with John. I think his. I think there. her bird. Where? Uh, Whoop! Easy. Just let them work, Clayton. Don't push too hard until they stop. All right, Griff. Yeah, they didn't go very far, but. Well, I think those are a better chance. I think we need to work this area better. I think most of them are probably right in here. Yours yeah. just beeped again. Penny stopped. Hey, Clayton, can you see Penny? Yeah, I see her moving a bit. She's she moving working it. Yeah, this is ridiculous. This is yeah, and we might as well go find a covey because we're never, these singles are going to be impossible. Clayton, come on. Too dry, too hot. Yeah, we're going to have to find another covey. Singles are just too, it's too hot. It's ridiculous. Hopefully. That's why they're thriving. Uh, that's probably why they're thriving here. Ouch! Ooh, that thorn got me good. The quail went that way. I don't know where the pheasant went because I saw it through and the deer went that way. We're good to go whichever way, right? Let's go that way. You want me to go around this way? Hope if I chambered one, huh? Whoa, whoa! Good thing I had one chambered. <laughs> that's a hen. That's a hen. Is it? I don't think so. That's a hen. I don't think so. It's okay. Hey. Good. Um, go. Pick her up and set her back just a foot. I'd crash her if she needs to set her back. Whoa. Already. I think I would have hit it too. I think it, it flew straight and it didn't zig and zag on me like they usually do. No, I think it was a 
a rooster. Did you think, John? Yeah. Young one. Okay. But I think so. Oh, uh, well. That's probably why we were confused. <laughs> I guess I should put some spells in my gut. It's like I choose a pack rat. Yeah, I gotta shoot something today. <laughs> Reason's pretty solid. Want me to go around? Go that way, I'll go that way. Oh, I just saw some. I saw where one landed. Go up. Go up. Whoa. They were both pulled. You think they ran out of there? Well, either that or the wind's just whatever wind we got. Yeah. Because they were like right here. Kelly, like Kelly, a bunch went over here. I fired over this way. I saw, yeah, you guys each fired that yeah, way, but I, I was watched, watching the dog the whole time. I watched time. probably I four to six go left. Uh, same amount this way. That means, but that means they're in the thick stuff. Same amount this way, Kelly. Whatever, just whenever you turn your dog loose, I'll turn. Yeah, I'll. I'll hey, go. no. I think, yeah, we're probably best going up on this hillside just a little bit. Where do you think they downed at? Over here, some. Okay. Well, let's kind of cross through here and then go left a little bit and go towards it. That was a big cubby. I mean, because I saw, I saw at least six or eight go left. What do you think you saw go right? The same. Nice. And I missed all of them. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected them to be in that. Oh god. What a hole. There she is right here. She's right here. Shandy, whoa. Oh. It's like, what are you guys doing? So they're south of those plum thickets there. I'm pretty sure those are the plum thickets. Yeah, I think so. so if we go through here. Spread out a little bit. Hear that, John? What? We'll kind of spread out in this and go that way. Because we head towards the pump. One of us is going to 
The dogs have ran through here. <whistles> All right. I think I almost tripped when it flew. Clayton, I kind of feel like they went, yeah, where you're going. Whoop. Where's Reason? She just stopped. 62 yards in front of me, that way. Chance is heading. Yeah, I see her. Tail's up. Over here. Which, are you going left? Are you going left? I don't know how I didn't hit that one. <laughs> I I swear I shot that one in the ass. Do you see it down? I mean it kept flying. Be ready. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. I got it. You worry about the bird.
So on the ground right now, we have Trip, who's the furthest out, and then Pence is right here, and Xander. And Xander's about to go to his new home in Canada as a hunting dog and companion. Um, Pence is staying on the team, and Trip is definitely staying on the team. Um, Pence and Xander are only 10 months old. Trip is 19 months old. And I just got him this summer. Um, I got him back. He's litter mate to Neo. He's a nice boy. Looking forward to his future. So, the reason I got Trip back is um, he's a bit hard headed and he's gonna take some effort to break out. And some people don't wanna be that. Some people don't have that patience and they don't want to have to take the time to let that happen at the right time for the dog. Um, and the other reason I got the dog back is because a, a pro who had this dog for about, I don't know, maybe six weeks, um, decided that Trip ran um, rather flat with minimal animation. And, um, you know, this pro is accustomed to running pointers and they're looking for that 12 o'clock snapping tail. But when you look at Trip out there and you see that tail going, he doesn't crack it at 12, but it's at 10. I mean, and it's, he's, he's pretty darn animated for an Irish. And on a grading scale, I'd give him a B, a good strong, maybe even a B plus when it comes to his animation when he's running. He's enjoyable to watch. He has good independence, but he's finally going with me. That took some time and some effort to get him to want to go with me, to listen to me, to cue off me, as opposed to just run willy-nilly everywhere. But he's a nice going dog and he's definitely got a bright future on my string. So it's pretty, pretty big blessing that I got this dog back. I'm, I'm pretty thankful. Here, Trip. Here, bud. Here. Good. Here, bud. Yeah, it's a good boy. Yes. Yeah, it's a good boy. All right. Now, Pence over there is, is a half brother to Trip. Sorry, half sister to Trip. Um, they're both out of reason. Pence is sired by a dog named Comeback Trump. Her name is um, Quantanus Running Mate, call name Pence. Um, and then Trip will be, um, is Quantanus Roughneck. Um, and then Xander is Pence's brother. And he'll be moving off to Canada here soon. He's going to be a hunting companion and a pet. Huh, buddies? You good boy? Hey, Pence. Come here, babe. Pence. She's snappy. She's definitely snappy. Um, she has more run than, than some at her age of my dogs. Um, a lot of my dogs, their run comes with age. Uh, Reason was not a big running dog at one year old. And she wasn't big at two necessarily. She's big at four and five and, and now seven. Um, that's when she started to show her, her true colors and that desire to reach. Um, these past three years have been big for her. Pence is going to have that. She'll be that kind of dog, um, but with more snap. You can see her going. That tail's much higher than Reason's when she runs. And that's the reason why I like Pence. That's the reason she's going to make the team. Huh, babe? Yes. And she's got a great attitude. She's tough. She takes good correction. She's very resilient. Um, and she's independent. She doesn't care where other dogs are going. She's gonna go where she wants to go and she doesn't know why she's going there yet. She hasn't figured that out. But um, there's a lot to like about Pence and Trip out there. They're nice dogs. I'm pretty excited about their future. So right now I have Trip at 360, 380 yards. He's moving. I just want to 
gonna get to the crest of this and see where he's going and see if I can handle him back around. All right, we're down to 295. Let's see if he comes around for me. Hey, We've been working pretty hard on this. When I'm hollering like that, that means I'm changing direction and then I need them to come and see me, at least pop their head up and look for me. Hey, what I'm gonna do is change my body direction. So if he pops up, he should turn. We're at 112 to our right. Here he comes over the hill. Atta boy! All right, bud! Atta boy! That's exactly what I'm looking for. Hello! Atta boy! Good. And he's going the direction I turn my body. So these dogs, you know, we can't, we all want. Well, not everybody, but our goal is to have big running dogs. But we're not gonna get that from day one. And we're certainly, and sometimes we will, sometimes. Sometimes we'll get those big running dogs at a young age. And Trip is one of those, and Neo is pretty big. And it's really natural for them as young dogs. But the problem is, is that they have to go with us and they are of no use to us if they're running giant in all the wrong directions. So these dogs from day one have to be encouraged to go with you. And that just takes walks and a, them associating, turning with and going with you um, and not just you following them whatever direction they wanna go. So he's 323. He's out there on that draw, if you look way out. Hello! Let's see if I can bring him. Hello! There we go. Coming back to look for me. He doesn't see me yet. should crest that hill 270 240 there he comes out a boy hey you hey here bud yes hey okay, good boy yes all right, let's go back. Those puppies want to be competitive and want to play bumper cars. I'm starting to, they're starting to get in trouble for stuff like that. Um, that's, that's part of being a puppy and, and part of growing up. They have to start to learn that that's not what we do. And Pence is, one of the earlier ones to show signs of stopping that for me. She's rather independent at this age and I'm pretty happy with her.